If you can hear them, hope so. If you can hear them. to White Cloud and we was wondering uh, what, what, what happens in this town. Uh, we're at the White Cloud Marina at, and we're looking for the Flathead Club membership place where we can become flatheaders, where we're going to catch some flathead catfishes and then uh, that's where we'll be. Then we're going to go to the Cassini up here, or whatever that thing is up there win some money. Then we're gonna come down and get some catfishes. And that's what we're gonna do. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. And be watch out because you get shocked around here a lot. And uh, stuff like that. Anyway sunglasses there because it's getting off the brain. Let me tell you a story. Okay, what's the story? We're over here at the Glacial Hills area of Kansas and that water right out there has come a long way. Long way. Heap long way. That's Indian talk for a long way. Heap. See that water it come from up there and up north. And it's made it all the way down here. It's going to go all the way down there. Wind up in the Gulf of Mexico. And all those fish are going down that way. And they get all the way to the end. They turn around and come back. Because it's salt water and they don't like salt water. And by that time, their heads are flat. Because of all that going against the current. And, uh, then the people come up here, it's called the Flathead Club. The PBSS, Flathead Club, City of White Cloud, Boat Dock Area. And that's where we're at. So anyway, I come from across there over there in Nebraska. I'm a Nebraska night. I've just been there all my life. Anyway. I tell you, I get shocked around here a lot. It's all about the trash can. And uh, just a minute ago, I was trying to put in some uh, garbage in a trash can, and this young girl told me, go put this trash in that trash can. I said, I'll get shocked. She goes, go ahead, go ahead. So I did, and guess what? I got shocked. And I got, I got shocked five times today, five, count of five. I got shot going in the Cassini, where I got that one, my one thirty dollar, thirty dollars in the casino. Now I'm talking like I'm from Louisiana, but I'm actually from Nebraska. I've been to five states today. I've been to Missouri, been to Nebraska, been to Kansas, and that's that's it. Now I asked about Iowa, but no one knowed. And uh, that's only four. That's actually only three, but who's counting? 
Anyway, that's all I got to say. Because I don't want to get you bored. Anyway, I'll see you. Y'all, y'all, y'all come back now. You hear? He was shooting at some food. And what's fine? Bubbling of Texas tea. No, that's oil. Well, first thing you know, Jed's a millionaire. And then he says, Guys, we gotta get out of here. So I loaded the truck and went to Beverly. The Beverly Hillbillies. So do 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 Hi. Well, I've run out of stories, uh, tall tales or short tales, or uh, bird tales. You ever catch a bird? You know how you catch a bird? You just shake or salt, salt shaker. You can sneak up on a bird and put salt on its tail or it can't fly away. That's true. You ought to try it. The salt causes the, the trouble with the tail. But See, I tried that one time when I was a kid, and my dad was laughing. He goes, I said, well, he, he flew off. And I said, well, he goes, you keep on trying, and you'll get a bird, and you get up there and put salt on its tail, and it can't fly. But you know what the moral of the story is? If you can get close enough to put salt on its tail, you can just grab him. So, that's what it is. That's what it is. I tell you, that's the Missouri River out there. The water there has come all the way from up north. There's some geese in the sky. It's a bee geese. Those are bee geese.